you've probably noticed it's a, a high-speed uh, offshore hull. Uh, it's been developed specifically for manned and unmanned operations, um, for primarily coastal protection, anti-smuggling, um, utilized as a swarm attack, let's say, or interception to various different targets. So interconnectivity was, was key, knowing where the other assets are. Essentially, we've designed it from the ground up based on our proven V3 hull. That's an offshore racing hull, capable of speeds over 100 miles an hour. Let's say for operational purposes, 75, 80 knots, sea state three. The manned version is the version that you see here with the three seats. The mast that you see behind also is an interchangeable modular system, which, which we can incorporate different armaments as well as the unmanned system. Just over 10 meters length overall, I think about 10.2 meters. Um, as you can see, we're, we're running twin uh, Mercury outboards right now, but there is an inboard variant as well. It just lends to the modularity of the design. Um, we also uh, can install twin inboard diesels with surface drives if the client wishes to have that. She's got a range of about 200 nautical miles right now with a standard fuel tank. That's expandable. We can double that if need be. It's a full carbon fiber construction infused by Abu Dhabi Shipbuilding. Speeds topping out uh, 90 knots. We can go faster, but we want to limit that. And obviously we have an awful lot of training uh, programs in place to be able to train people to use the boat manually and unmanned at those speeds. It's first of class. We've got a second demonstrator getting built right now in the UAE. Uh, that's something obviously we want to promote. We've been working very closely with, uh, with Edge and Abu Dhabi Shipbuilding to, to build this vessel. We have another one on its way. Hopefully with the two vessels in the water, we can both demonstrate the manned capabilities and how that can interact with the unmanned capabilities. Right now we're at the first phase of the, let's say the unmanned program. Uh, we did successful remote trials last week with it. Again, it's a brand new boat. It's just in the water this week. So we haven't really had a chance to fulfill some of the, the milestones for the unmanned yet. Uh, we hope to do that in the next following months, uh, in which phase four of that is interconnectivity with AI uh, and how we can use that to optimize targeting.